Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my very first booktube tag. This tag is the newbie booktuber tag and it was created by Brenda C whose information I will leave below and I watched a lot of other videos for this so I wasn't tagged formally in it because I don't really know anyone yet in the booktube community but all of them said you know tag whoever is new and you can do it so the same thing goes for you if you're interested in doing this tag as well. This tag has nine questions which will give an introduction to who I am and why I'm here. Question number one, why did I start this channel? I started this channel because I've been a blogger on WordPress for four years and I guess I needed a new challenge. I needed something different and a different way of talking about books. Number two, what are some fun and unique qualities that you bring to the booktube community? Well, I'm a little older than I think the typical booktuber, which was my initial concern about joining this community, but I am a doctoral student and I am studying young adult literature as the primary subject of my dissertation. So I bring a lot of like really, I wouldn't call it brainy because that's not really how I talk and discuss things, but I bring an academic angle to things. I was a librarian and a classroom teacher as well. So I've noticed that some of the booktubers I've found through this tag are also teachers and educators. So I think we bring a little something different to this community that doesn't exist here right now, but certainly can in the future. Number three, what are you most excited for with this channel? I'm most excited about the challenge of doing vlogging and videos as part of what I talk about because it's just a totally different set of people that I'll get to interact with. It's almost like there's this set of people that blog on WordPress and in the traditional blogosphere, there's a set of people that blog on Tumblr and then there's bookstagrammers and then there's booktubers. And so we all kind of tend to be in our own little communities. And I like the idea of bringing some of that together because we all have such interesting things to say. Number four, what do you love reading? I love reading dystopian novels. I really got back into reading seriously with The Hunger Games back around like 2008, but I also have really found myself interested in contemporary novels lately. I actually put some of my favorite ones on this shelf behind me. I have other shelves that have a lot more books over there, but these ones represent my favorite things like A.S. King's novels and John Green's novels, uh, Rainbow Rowell, the... E. Lockhart, a lot of LGBT fiction because I do identify as a member of the LGBT community. So those are all here. Um, and then also this is like my historical fiction shelf. So clearly I have a love for those as well. Number five, what book or book series got you into reading? I guess I just answered this in the last question. Well, recently as an adult, probably The Hunger Games because it made me realize that dystopian literature was a was a thing. It was going to be a new thing. And but as a kid, it was the Babysitter's Club series by Anne M. Martin. I love those books. Like I read all 100 of them probably. Number six, what question would you ask your favorite booktuber? I don't really have a favorite booktuber yet. So I would be asking questions to figure out maybe get to know someone who might become my favorite booktuber. And one thing I care a lot about in books is feminism. So I would ask what they think is the most feminist book that they have read and why. And it doesn't really matter what they choose. It's more about, you know, the discussion that happens from that. And that might help me narrow down whose views align with my own. Number seven, what challenges do you think will be difficult to overcome with keeping up a booktube channel? Well, I'm not really worried about posting regularly because I already have a blog and I post five or six times a week over there. So I'm pretty good at keeping up with schedules of things. What I'm most worried about is not looking like an idiot on the camera. Like it's a totally different mode to have to blog in this way because you have to have a certain tone when you're speaking. You can't be flat, but you also like, you have to look good and worry about your camera angles and all of that. And so it's easy at the beginning when you're paying attention to those pieces. But I imagine as time goes on, you get more into a flow of things and it's gets kind of tedious. Number eight, what are you currently reading? I'm currently reading the audiobook of The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutowski. It is 
slow going for me. I'm having a hard time getting into it, but I think it's because I'm only listening to maybe 20 minutes of it at a time. I also just started Famous in Love by Rebecca Searle, which is a contemporary novel about a girl who gets picked to play the lead in the movie version of her favorite dystopian trilogy. And she finds love on the set as she's also learning how to be a celebrity and a big star. So that actually is really good so far. Number nine is what are you planning to read next? And these two questions I think were added by Books and B because there were originally fewer questions on the survey. I am planning on reading Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I've said several times that it's a book that I need to get to. I own it in audiobook and in an ebook and in print. And I know it's going to be good and I just need to commit myself to reading it. So it's pretty high up on the list of things that I need to get to as soon as possible. I'm also planning to read a book called We All Looked Up, and I can't remember the author, but it's about four teenagers who are graduating from high school while a meteor or something is flying towards the earth that might kill everyone, so they are trying to balance living it up as seniors in high school and figuring out who they are with also it maybe being the end of the world, but also if it's not, they need to be prepared for the future. So I think that book should be pretty interesting. I love a good apocalyptic tale. Okay, so those are my nine questions for the newbie book blogger tag. I've linked the original post down below along with the actual text of the questions if you're interested in participating in this tag. And if you do, let me know because I would love to know how you answer these questions. I'd love to get to know people in this community. That's all for now, and I'll see you next week. A couple years ago,